Back in May of 2020, during the beginning of the pandemic, Kella Hogue started doing virtual yoga with a group of her friends over Zoom. She started to become dizzy with some of the positions. After a couple sessions, I did not feel good. And I mean, I was nauseated and, and dizzy and I just couldn't seem to get things back to square one. Um, and I was talking to my son one day and kind of explaining to him how I couldn't look over my shoulder or lean down to tie my shoe. More simple tasks became harder. It's hard to drive a car because you try to look over your shoulder to see, you know, to change lanes and just immediately you're like, whoo, whoa, I am dizzy. Or you, you know, like lean down to zip up your boot or something like that and then, you know, you got to sit back in the chair for a little bit and kind of get your bearings again. Her physical therapist, Chuck McCullough, is her next door neighbor. I talk to Chuck, we call it over the fence medicine and um, he said, yeah, you have vertigo. So um, because it was the pandemic and they were really trying to limit people in the clinic to like, you know, more urgent procedures or whatever, he said, you know, let me just come over to your house. Calla had a very specific type of vertigo. Uh, we call it BPPV, benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. And the paramount symptom for her, it was a sudden onset. Uh, she had this intense dizziness, the room spinning, dizziness, nausea, and she had it when she turned her head. Symptoms, McCullough says, are caused by crystals clogging canals in your ears. And when they get clogged, we have to unclog them and we choose this procedure called the Epley procedure. And what I did was, uh, it didn't take very much time, but once we ran through the procedure, one, two, three, go. Keep your eyes open. Uh, it is a type of thing that should have very quick results. Perfect, eyes open. The next day, she was 100%, did fine. The procedure involves simple, specific Make movements side. to alleviate the problem. And the first time I went through all three procedures, I was so dizzy and nauseated that I, I couldn't even stand up by myself. Not nearly as bad that second time around. Then I went back to sleep for a couple hours and then Chuck said I had to do it again about nine o'clock that night. And so then I did it again that night. And the next morning when I woke up, I didn't have vertigo.